And after the news of the great escape carried out by Tabo Besta with the alleged help of Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana, we now zoom into the criminal uh, mastermind for more on this. We are now joined by Chief of Operations of the Head of Profiling at Cyberetti Consulting Services, and her name is Laurie Peter James. Laurie, thank you so much uh, for joining us here on the late edition. You know, a number of South Africans have been asking so many questions, especially on the type of person Tabo Besta is. If you could just take us through this, looking into Tabo Besta as a criminal, he is a convicted rapist and murderer. What do you think was going through his mind, uh, especially uh, considering that he was in prison, then uh, he allegedly passed away in prison, then he fled the country. Uh, you know, what goes into, you know, somebody's mind like Tabo Besta? Good evening to you and to your viewers, and thank you so much for the invitation. So in my opinion, <clears throat> and this is just my opinion, um, Tabo Besta actually exhibits many traits of the cluster B personality disorder, antisocial personality disorder. Now that cluster B is also things like histrionic personality disorder, as well as uh, narcissistic personality disorder. So um, he, he clearly exhibits these traits. It's things like manipulation, planning, callousness, um, a lack of empathy would be the primary trait. And just bear in mind, all antisocials are probably narcissistic. Not all narcissists are psychopaths or antisocials. They're very similar, not identical, but very similar. So he does exhibit all of these types of traits. Um, I also think that given his propensity to stalk on the internet, he is possibly um, has what we call cognitive empathy. And that's a very dangerous trait because he's aware of what his victims need from him cognitively, but he has no compassionate empathy. So in other words, he can understand what his victims need from him from an empathetic point of view, but not really be able to be compassionate at all. And what's very interesting about psychopaths or antisocials is that they will plan, they will manipulate, they will fit into the prison system just as easily as they, they live in the outside world, which is clearly what he did. He took over just being the kingpin of the prison. So they just adapt to their circumstances and turn those circumstances into the best possible circumstances they can make. So if they're in prison, they'll run the prison, which is clearly what he did. He manipulated everyone. And um, when he was outside of the prison, he did the same thing. He manipulated, stalked, controlled his victims, um, tricked them. He was a con artist. Um, it's not only that. I mean, even while in prison, he was perpetrating multiple frauds through his property agency with, with Nandipa. So he was clearly a, a master manipulator and will continue to be that. Mm. And we saw the same thing now when he went for the bail hearing interestingly enough, where he put forward um, that, he, that he hadn't eaten. Again, once again, trying to garner sympathy. And yes, um, I think the prosecutor and I may differ on the dangers he faced pre-escape to the dangers he faced now, and faces now at the hands of the prison uh, wardens and staff themselves. Because what you do have to remember is now he has embarrassed that staff. He's put G4S under the spotlight, and there is an increased hostility in that staff to him, given what he's put them through. Um, so I would heighten, definitely look at a heightening of his security. Um, but again, it's possibly also just a manipulative tactic because this personality type will manipulate every situation to their advantage. And that you can take to the bank.
And perhaps there's also no go back to, you know, the proceedings in court and just the demeanor of Tabo Besta. If you would compare it to Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana yesterday, she had a mask, she wore a hoodie. Um, with Tabo, he was, you know, willing to be out in the open, was not willing to speak to anyone, but he was willing to put his face out there. What do you make of Tabo Besta's demeanor in court today? Well, Tarvin Besta has nothing to lose. He's already got a life sentence. Everybody knows what he looks like. He's infamous and he's probably enjoying it to a degree given his personality type. So he's, I don't think he has any reason to, to hide his face or, or hide. He's, he's well known and he, he knows fully well what to expect down the line. I mean, the worst that can happen to him is going back to prison, which is going back anyway, no matter what the outcome of this trial is. So it's just additional charges. Um, he's got a life sentence and under South African law, a life sentence means life until he dies. So, um, you know, that's a life sentence here. So there, there's, no, there's no positive outcome for him. His time on the run was, was probably great for him because it was just a reprieve from prison. She, on the other hand, does not know what to expect. Although she has been quite a public figure and she's done a lot of TV shows and she's got her YouTube channel and she's, she's been pretty out there. Um, it's not under these circumstances. So these circumstances are all foreign to her. She's never been faced with the type of negative publicity that she's facing now. And that's going to uh, make her want to hide because she's not used to the criticism. She's never been in the criminal spotlight. She's not familiar with the court situation. And, you know, she's also perpetrated some rather concerning crimes. Um, definitely, she has traits of narcissistic personality. I don't think that she's manipulated by him at all. Uh, maybe a little bit, but not much. Uh, I think she is quite rational. Um, I think it's going to be very interesting if they if they subject her to to a profiler. Um, in my opinion, this was for financial gain, and um, she she bragged about the fact that he did everything and that she wanted him to do, and he provided her, and she was living a good lifestyle. Um, and they were perpetrating many, many frauds together, and that's not even if you go into the, the, the theft of bodies and or, and or possible organ trafficking or whatever else she's been involved in. We don't know at this point. So I think the, that it is interesting um, that she's finally had her crimes catch up with her, and that has caused her to want to hide her face. Um, so there may be some sort of embarrassment, but I think it's more that she's now being subjected to true negative publicity and that she's not used to and it's, and it, and it's put her in an uncomfortable position. And Laurie, many people uh, have been coming out to comment on Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana, some saying that she may be a victim and some saying that she may be the mastermind, uh, you, know, uh, you know, in aiding Tabo Besta. And you're simply flatly saying that, well, uh, you know, here is somebody who was also uh, a part and contributed uh, to this crime in which we are seeing now. Oh, she's absolutely 100% an accomplice. So um, I wouldn't give her any leeway whatsoever. To me, she's as much a fraudster, profiting off the misery of others. She's also a con artist. She ran as many schemes for him. She ran many companies for him. She's a fraudster. So at the very least, I mean, I would uh, include her with her charges. I I'm not sure what the, what the state is, is going to throw at her by the time they're finished compiling the, the charges. But I mean, she's committed frauds for well millions of rands. So there, she would be looking at the mandatory minimum sentencing act, you know, for fraud. If she's convicted of any fraud over five hundred thousand rand, um, she would be looking at the mandatory minimum sentence for fraud conviction, and that would give her fifteen years without looking at anything else. Oh, she's, all right. you know, blatant fraudster. All right. Thank you very much. Of course, that is a criminal profiler there, Laurie Peters-James. Also, just giving us a bit of insight in terms of zooming in into the type of personalities that the law is dealing with here, uh, that being the personality of Tabo Besta as well as Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana.